Hey everyone, Cairo here at TCS Rockets, and today we are going to be talking about the new ban and restricted announcement that Wizards put out. They affected four formats today, being Historic, Pioneer, Popper, and Modern. Let's jump right into it. First up, we have Historic. In Historic, we saw Winota, Fires of Invention, and Agent of Treachery being moved from Suspended to Banned. Effectively, this means very little. They went from being banned to Omega Banned, so don't plan on seeing those in Historic anytime soon. After that, we have two more cards. Nexus of Fate and Burning Tree Emissary are now banned in Historic. Nexus of Fate is not a very fun card to play against, and so I say good riddance. Extra turns already feel pretty rough to play against, and Nexus led to a loop of infinite turns, and I think we all agree that the worst part about playing Magic is not getting to play Magic at all. Burning Tree Emissary has been known as a pretty aggressive card and very loosely as fast mana throughout its history, and I'm kind of glad to see it gone. It's led to very, very fast aggro starts, allowing you to play Burning Tree Emissary into Burning Tree Emissary into Burning Tree Emissary, and overall, I don't think that was very healthy for Historic, so good riddance to that one as well. This does tell me, however, whoever is curating the Historic cards needs to be a little bit more careful. The fact that they've already banned one of the cards they've artificially added into the format tells me they are not looking at the card pool more seriously, and they're only adding cards that they see as cool, not as playable or functional for the format. Moving on, we have Popper. In Popper, Expedition Map is now banned in an effort to try and nerf Popper Tron. Popper Tron's been a deck since effectively the conception of the format and has always been dominant. It's seen many bans, and now with Expedition Map gone, I see its consistency being almost lower to the point where you have to draw natural Tron. I don't think that's enough to kill the deck, but definitely weaken it. Other than that, we also have Mystic Sanctuary banned. I believe Mystic Sanctuary should have never been a common in the first place. Its effect is almost on par with some rares, being able to recur any instant or sorcery to the top of your deck. In Popper, it's been extra insane, allowing you to ensure that you will flip all of your Delvers and allowing you to put Lightning Bolts on top of your deck to ensure lethal in the late game. Overall, very good bannings for Popper. Let's move on to Modern. In Modern, we have seen Arkham's Astrolabe banned. This card has been a little absurd. It's been played in multiple three-color snow decks and effectively allowed for them to have perfect fixing on a one-mana artifact and let them draw a card. And in my opinion, that is way too powerful for only one card to be able to do. I actually have a very funny story about Arkham's Astrolabe that made me think it should have been banned a while ago. I was uh, judging a Star City event here at TCS Rockets, and in our top eight, I was watching Bant Snow versus Grixis Death Shadow. It was a very, very close match, and Bant Snow ended up winning because they were able to cast a Blood Moon. Yes, I said that correctly. A blue-green-white deck was able to successfully cast Blood Moon, and had them not turn off their mana because of Arkham's Astrolabe and the amount of snow basics they played. The minute I saw that, I knew Astrolabe did not belong in Modern. Now, for the juicy section, we are moving on to Pioneer. Pioneer did not see any bans, although I wholeheartedly think it should have. In fact, it saw the opposite. It saw an unbanning. Oath of Nyssa is once again legal in Pioneer, and honestly, I think that's fine. The card was banned very early on and was during a time of copycat combos and mono green devotion and the formats moved on since then. You don't really see those archetypes anymore mostly because Felidar Guardian is now banned and mono green devotion isn't necessarily as powerful compared to what Pioneer is dealing with today. What I would like to talk about is what they should have banned. In the article they posted today, they said they are keeping a close eye on the combo decks, but don't believe there's enough data to justify a ban. Well, I would argue the exact opposite. If we look at the current meta breakdown for Pioneer, we see that there are two decks representing more than 25% of the total decks played. These are both combo decks, one of them being Lotus Breach and the other one being the Inverter of Truth combo. They're both very resilient combo decks that are almost impossible to interact with and have instant win the game 
combos. Lotus Field, of course, is a hexproof land, meaning it's almost impossible to remove. And Inverter of Truth uses cards like Thought Seize and Thought Erasure to grind you out until eventually the door is open and they can play their Inverter of Truth combo to win the game with Thassa's Oracle or Jace Wilder of Mysteries. Lotus Field, of course, did a very similar win con. They would draw their whole deck with Underworld Breach and See the Truth with various other draw spells and untap spells to continue to make infinite mana with their Lotus Field. And then, of course, win the game with Thassa's Oracle or Jace Wielder of Mysteries. Now, let's get into the point they said where there's not enough data to justify a ban. If we look 90 days ago, that is three months ago, Inverter of Truth was 11% of total decks being played, and Lotus Field was 8%. That's already nearly 20% of the format. Let's come a little bit more recently in the last month. Inverter went up to 14% of the meta, and Lotus Field stayed at 8%. That is now 22% of total decks. If we look at the last two weeks of Pioneer, Inverter is all the way up to 18% of the format, with Lotus Field staying strong at 8%. We're now at 26% of the format being two combo decks that both re revolve around Thassa's Oracle and Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. We are now at two combo decks that revolve around Thassa's Oracle and Jace, Wielders of Mystery, which is completely insane in my opinion. Now, this last week alone, we've seen Inverter of Truth still at 18% and Lotus Field all the way up to 10% of the meta. This is now a third of the entire Pioneer meta is a combo deck revolving around Thassa's Oracle and Jace Wielder of Mysteries. It is very clear to me that another banning needs to be made and Wizards needs to reassess their opinions on the Pioneer format. Overall, I would say the three other formats outside of Pioneer had very healthy bannings and is very good for the format, and Wizards really, really needs to reassess how they view Pioneer or the format's going to die. With that being said, that is my opinion on the ban and restricted announcement today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give us a like and hit the subscribe button below. With that being said, I'm Cairo. Have a good day and I'll see you next time.